that the church thanks you. Today after the 1030 Mass, we're holding a reconciliation prep for all second graders and their parents starting here in the church. We are tickled to death that you are with us, whether you're here in person or online. As Father Adam approaches the altar, please stand for the entrance antiphon. To you I call, for you will surely heed me, O God. Turn your ear to me, hear my words, guard me as the apple of your eye, in the shadow of your wings, protect me. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord, for the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea has come with justice for the world. Break into song at the deeds of the Lord, the wonders God has done in every age. All the ends of the earth, all you creatures of the sea, lift up your eyes to the wonders of the Lord. For the Lord of the earth, the master of the sea, has come with justice for the world. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather for Mass this morning, we recall our sins. We ask the Lord for his forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I, that I have greatly sinned in, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what, what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us all of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, our only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him and making kings run in his service, opening doors before him and leaving the gates unbarred. 
For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not, so that toward the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and honor. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the peoples with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the Church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love, and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man 
and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth, that you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay the census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. They handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. And, that he, and at that he said to them, Then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you. Isn't it nice to know that even 2,000 years ago, people were still arguing about paying taxes. Some things really never change. Our gospel today is from the 22nd chapter of, the, of, of Matthew. Matthew's gospel has 28 chapters, so this gospel is about three quarters of the way through the gospel. Jesus has been bantering with the Pharisees already quite a few times, but this time Matthew tells us they are trying to trap Jesus. You know, I love these little pieces of repartee in the scriptures. I love how Jesus turns the Pharisees on their heads. Today, as the Pharisees try to trap Jesus, Jesus returns with the trap of his own. You see, the Pharisees presented to Jesus what should have been a no-win situation. Paying the tax in Jesus' time was a hot topic. If Jesus uh, would have responded that they should pay the tax, then he would anger those who hated everything about the Romans. But if he said that the tax was unlawful, then he would anger the Roman officials. So he turns the question back at the Pharisees and sets his trap. You see, as soon as Jesus asks to see the coin, his trap was already set. Those who were present should not have even had the coin that Jesus requested. Carrying the graven image of Tiberius Caesar would have been embarrassing to say the least. In fact, it would have actually been considered idolatry but they gave Jesus the coin. Someone in the group must have had it on them. That's the first point for Jesus. After asking whose image and whose inscription was on the coin, Jesus simply walks through all of the other snares and, and, and steps by their challenge by telling them to give to Caesar what is Caesar's and give to God what is God's. Point two for Jesus. You see, the reality is that we all have several different loyalties. When I think about my membership to different groups and organizations, I admit that my head starts to spin. I'm an American. I'm a Midwesterner. While I may need to apologize to about half of you, I'm a Cardinals fan. Of course, I belong to a family. I belong to the Diocese of Springfield, and I belong to the Church of Our Savior here in Jacksonville, Illinois. And I belong to the family that is here. While there are many more groups to which I belong, I'm sure that each person in, in here has their, has their own that they could add. Of course, there's one more that at least most of us here have in common. By our baptism, we are also members of God's kingdom. Each of these memberships comes with certain rights. As a member of God's kingdom, we have, we have some similar responsibilities. We have the responsibility to be, to be a messenger of God and to try to establish God's kingdom of love and justice here on earth. The difficult, comes, the tif difficult time, though, comes when our responsibilities seem to conflict. You see, as an American citizen, I have certain rights and responsibilities as well. One of those chief responsibilities is that is, is, uh, is, that I have is to vote in the elections for the best candidate. However, as a Catholic, I have a responsibility to support life in all stages, a responsibility to support immigrants and the poor, and I have a responsibility to help people who are suffering. You see, there is no candidate this year who checks all the boxes. 
and it's not within Catholic theology to place one life over another. One person is never more, the, more important than another. Therefore, we have to study what we can. We have to learn about the candidates, seeing where they stand on those issues of life, and vote for the candidate that our conscience feels is the best, keeping in mind that we cannot vote for a candidate particularly in support of a grave evil. So we cannot vote for a candidate because of their stance to increase abortions. We cannot vote for a candidate because they are going to hurt immigrants or the poor. We cannot vote for a candidate because of their support for capital punishment or any other grave evil. While the reality seems a bit like splitting hairs, we can only vote for better treatment of the poor and the vulnerable, the unborn and the prisoners, the minorities and the immigrants. You see, we have a right and a responsibility to vote. We have a responsibility to God and to support all God's children, even when we are faced with a difficult choice, even when our responsibilities seem to conflict. You know, Jesus' call to us today spreads farther than our political life, it spreads to the rest of our life as well. And, and the call is to give God what belongs to God as a reminder to balance the rest of our life. Sure, Jesus is saying, give to, your, uh, give to your country what you owe to your country. But he's also saying, give to your family what you owe to your family. Give to your job what you owe to your job. Give to God what you owe to God. Understand your responsibilities. Fulfill them while always remembering to give God the glory due God's name. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life the world to come. Amen. As a church without borders or walls, we offer prayers for our sisters and brothers throughout the world who are hungry, fleeing violence, or afraid or in need in any way. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, that the Lord might strengthen him in faith and courage as he shows the world the missionary heart of our faith, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. 
for our elected leaders that they may govern justly, heal divisions, protect the innocent, and foster peace. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For wisdom, that God will guide us in fulfilling our civic responsibilities without compromising our dis discipleship and service of God. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all missionaries who serve God and their fellow brothers and sisters, that they may continue to give witness to the Lord's loving kindness and redeeming presence. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are sick at home or hospitalized, those in nursing homes, those under hospice care, that they know God's comforting touch, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For our third, fourth, and fifth grade students anxious to receive the sacrament of confirmation in November, that they be open to the outpouring of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, especially Mary Ellen English and Thomas Cosgrove, that God will welcome them into the eternal banquet of God's love. We pray. Father of all, we seek your mercy and your love as we pray for the strength to serve your mission each day in prayer and sacrifice through Christ our Lord. Amen. <clears throat> me, O oh God, hide me in the shadows of your wings. You alone are my home. When my foes around me set me high above their shadows of your wings, you alone are my Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all this holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace, we may be cleansed by the, mystery, by the very mysteries that we serve through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you laid the foundations of the world and have arranged the changing of times and seasons. You formed man in your own image and set humanity over the whole world in all of its uh, wonder to rule in your name over all that you have made and forever praise you in mighty works through Christ our Lord. And so with all of the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration, we acclaim. Holy. holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. 
Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Thomas John, our Bishop, and all of the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with blessed apostles and all of the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always uh, free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to one another a sign of that peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The communion antiphon, Behold, the eyes of the Lord are on those who fear him, who hope in his merciful love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. Justice 
for a light to the people. Turn to me, O oh, turn and be saved, says the Lord, for I am God. There is no other, none beside me. I call your your eyes to the heavens and look at the earth down below the heavens will vanish like smoke and the earth will wear out a garment. Turn to me, O oh, turn and be saved, says the Lord, for I am God. There is no other, none beside me I call your name
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us in this present time, age and prepared for the gifts that are eternal. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. St. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in our day of battle. Be our safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits along the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Real quick note, uh, leave your kneelers down to indicate you've been there, and please social distance as you leave the church. For the fruits of this creation, thanks be to God. For the gifts of every nation, thanks be to God. For the plowing, sowing, reaping, silent growth while we are sleeping, Future needs in earth's 